All right, uh, Shalom. Best of all, first and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachak Rudash. Um, as always, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is His Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Okay, Bashem Rachak Rudash is in the name of the Holy Spirit in the pale of Hebrew, the last one Rudash, the Holy Tongue. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and also great millstone and peace and salutations and mercy unto you, brothers that are doing the work of your Habba Shem Al Shai. And shalom to you, Aqua, to you sisters that are listening, all right? Now, you know, I want to pretty much do a video here on this topic, uh, the book of Haggai, the first chapter in the sixth verse. Because, you know, everybody's going through hell, man, okay? We got bills to pay. We got our children to feed, our wife to look after, etc., etc. Okay, and we're living, you know, pretty much in a society that's literally built to strip us away from what's truly ours and what Yahabashim Shai had said. Okay, what the Lord Yahabashim Shai has put in place for us to enjoy in the earth, man. Okay, the scripture says in the in the apocrypha, the book of uh, Second Ezra, I believe that the world was made for our sakes man so why do we not possess it man okay we got these heathens who are literally stripping everything away from us man okay here it is we work overtime we work full time etc but we come home with nothing man okay and then on top of that we got shit a bunch of shit that we got to deal with a bunch of shit that we got to pay for okay so we're literally at the bottom man okay now you will have brothers who are doing all right Okay, but majority of us are living in hell, bro. Okay, and this is exactly what this place is. It's hell. Okay, unto the man of the Lord. And that's why Yahab Hashem Shai, the scripture says that he made himself poor. So that, you know, through him we might enter into the kingdom of Yahab Hashem Shai. Roughly paraphrasing, man. But though he was rich, he became poor, man. And we're literally, you know, pretty much living, okay, that same lifestyle, man. Okay, when you look at all the apostles... Okay, the disciples, etc., etc., the men of the Lord, the prophets, okay, they were not out there, okay, pretty much, you know, having the best of the best, man. Okay, they were pretty much regular men who were pretty much at the bottom, but, you know, they had the knowledge that Yahabba Shemel Shai had installed in them, which made them great in the spirit, man. Okay, but physically, you know, physically out there to the masses, we're struggling, man, and so were the prophets. But, you know, uh, the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 6, he says, ye have sown so much. That's right, man. We work like, you know, we work our asses off, man, and bring in little. That's right. You know, we're even living in a time where majority of these women make a shit ton of money more than the men. So, pretty much automatically, okay, it puts the woman on top, man. This is what Esau does. This is how Esau destroys a household, by paying the woman more than the men, Okay. And then, you know, now you got these women who are boasting because they make more money than the men, man. Okay? And it says, ye have sown so much and bring in little, ye eat, but ye have not enough. Right? Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And when ye earn wages, earneth the wages to put it into a bag with holes. That's right, man. Because right after we get paid, guess where our money goes into? The things that we need, the things that are necessities to keep our household, okay, strong and, you know, continue to flourish, etc., etc., okay? Which, all of that money goes back to the pocket of Esau. And that's why the scripture says that when we earn wages, we'll put it in a bag with holes, man. Okay, it's pretty much like a funnel that goes back to Esau, man. Okay, but, you know, we just got to endure the Lord Yahab Hashem Shai, you know, he's going to come back and deliver us. And when we get into the kingdom of Yahab Hashem Shai, all the elect men are going to become celebrities in the kingdom of Yahab Hashem Shai. And, the, you know, and the rest of the children of Israel. And we will not have to worry about paying no fucking bills no more. Okay, we will not, you know, we will not have to worry. Okay, about, you know, uh, pretty much working our asses off. To feed our children, okay, to look after our wives, etc., etc., man, okay, we won't have to worry about those things, power bills, electricity, internet, you know, all of that shit, but we will not have to worry about that, because the earth was created for our sakes, man, so we're going to enjoy the fullness of the earth, man, 
okay we won't have to worry about those things man i just wanted to bring out this you know this you know short short very short you know uh precept just to you know encourage your brothers to keep enduring man okay because it's not gonna last okay it will not last you know somehow some way you know we're still struggling but we're still continuing to move forward man so this goes to show to show you that the power of Yahabah Shema Shai is within us, you know, for us to endure, man. Okay, let me get this one scripture in the book of Matthew 24. Matthew, so like here, chapter 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. That's right, man. And a part of us enduring into the end, okay, is us having to pretty much overcome what we're going through physically as well, man. Okay, having to work 24 hours. Okay, having to come home and not even getting any goddamn rest, man. Because, you know, like, not every brother has it good, man, okay? Some brothers do have it all right where they have a woman beside them that might be able to help them out, etc., etc., but a lot of other brothers, okay, they're living on their own, etc. But, you know, even if they do have a woman, they got to do their own thing at the house, man, okay? You come home from work, you're tired, but then you got to do work at home, okay? These women are supposed to be our pillar of rest. But on this side, it's a total opposite, man, okay? So you have a lot of brothers who are pretty much going home and then, you know, they got to cook for themselves too, man, okay? Which goes to show you that the black women have lost her goddamn mind, or so like the Israelite woman, I should say, man. Okay, the Israelite woman has lost her goddamn mind, man. Because they don't even know how to keep a man happy no more. It's all about them, okay? But anyways, you know, I just wanted to bring those out, you know, to pretty much, like I said, encourage you brothers to, you know, endure into the end, man. The Lord, you have Hashem, is going back to save us out of this hell, man. And with that, shalom.